So hello guys, what's up? Uh, we're back again with another unboxing. Today we're gonna be unboxing this transceiver. It's called the Pixel Opass. Now this is built for Canon. There is also for Nikon and Sony and others, I believe. It's made in China. At the back you can see uh, some few stuff. The specs, I'll read it out for you. It's 2.4 gigahertz. The flash trigger, shutter release, auto switch to receiver or transmitter mode. So this is a transceiver, works both for transceiving and also hey, transmitting and receiving. The distance is up to 500 meter, oh, that's pretty far. The sync speed is 320 second. Compatible camera, Canon. Compatible flash, original Canon, Mets, another third party market, battery double A. Uh, the shadow mode is single shoot so you can't do continuous shooting with this four channels three groups and it's basically 600 hours once you put in fully charged now we're gonna open this and show you what's inside this box now when you buy it you're gonna have this little pouch that comes with it and also this instruction manual so you can beat it out Let's open this pouch, and over here you have the the transceiver itself. So here's a close-up look. I don't think you can see it, but here is it. Here it is, the transceiver. Now you have this to put on your camera. This to put your flash. This for the PC sync cord. Firmware update or charge, and also you sync to your. A sync for your flash or your shutter release here you have the switches on off or standby and you have the group to choose from here ABC the channels to choose from here and at last the test button or the shutter button now some other things that are in here first of all uh, what is this This is the cable for your shutter release. You have two of these, so for different type of cameras. I believe this black thing is for like 70s or 60s and so on. And this is for the old Canon version ones, like the 500D which I have right here. So this is basically for the shutter release. So you put this part over on the transceiver and this part to your camera. Now next up, in the box, in this little pouch is this cable right here, but I don't know what's the use. We're gonna open it anyway. All right, so uh, we can see the cables like this. Uh, I think this is for your other flashes, like studio lights and so on. You have this right here, studio lighting. Now the battery compartment is at the back, and it also has this uh, tripod mount over here. Then we're gonna put in some battery, AA batteries. Just like that. And to switch it on, you basically switch it on over here. And you can basically choose the group you like. And that's all. Now I'm gonna test it out. I have the second one over here. I haven't put in the battery. Now, put in the battery. Uh, like this. And like this. Alright, I'm just gonna test it out for you. It's not gonna sit still. bad thing about this is that it can't sit still so it's hard but here we have it now I'm gonna turn on the flash and show you how it works make sure I turn things on oh, flash is ready there you have it 
It works. There. It's very nice. It works like that and it also works the other way. Make sure when you're shooting this, you don't point this like this. You don't put it this way because it won't work. You have to point the flash outside like this so that it will work. Just like that. And it works pretty fine. I've tested out the shutter release thing and it works just as fine as this. I haven't tested the distance. I don't really see the need of shooting that far, like 500 meter. I don't really see the need to. So hello guys, here I am with another unboxing. This unboxing is the Lambency Flash Diffuser. I don't know uh, why is it called like this, but this is the diffuser. Now this is like the Gary Fong light sphere stuff, but it's a third party one, cheaper one, but it works fine. Unboxing it, basically this is the box, and this is suitable for the 580EX2 or my 560 Yongluo, same. It only comes with one plastic and it has, this, it has the machine inside. This is rubber and it smells very badly. Yes, <laughs> it smells very badly, but it's fine. It works. So this is actually it. I don't know what to say. So this is the thing, and this is the cover. You you will also get the chrome, and also the amber one. So you just have to purchase it. So basically, this sits on top of your flash. I'm gonna show you how to put it on. So first, you want to spread it out stuff it in. That's basically it. So it looks like this when you're done. So you basically want to put it like this when you shoot and when you want to shoot portrait you just have to do this. Go back, go forward, go back, no, no, no. Just like that, very simple. And so this is the Unboxing plus a short review on this London C flash diffuser aka the cheap Gary Fong light sphere. 